There are tons of advertising in the internet, and it's quite complicated for the businesses to reach a target audience and for users to find the necessary information. BitClive aims to change this and to build a system in which the intermediaries are eliminated. BitClive will connect consumers and businesses. Now we have an opportunity to talk to Alex Bessonov, CEO of the BitClive. Hello Alex, nice to see you. Hi, nice to meet you too. Tell us please about the main idea of your project. How did you come up with the idea to create it? Sure, that's a great question. So, I was working in security and privacy for a long time and uh, in the last uh, five years I was very curious about uh, uh, data management and how people uh, can uh, monetize their uh, data. Uh, one of the issues that we have today is that uh, uh, Google and Facebook and some other companies they essentially uh, take our data and they make uh, a profit, a very large profit. And so we worked on this idea for a while and uh, we discussed several different uh, directions and uh, we came up with uh, uh, a way to monetize the data and uh, connect users and businesses directly and essentially eliminate the middleman. Sounds great. Can you describe the advantages of BitClay for businesses and users? Uh, sure. So for uh, users, that's actually very straightforward. Today, all your data is being monetized by big middlemen, and uh, we have no say. We uh, can we provide a lot of data. It's really everything we do online is being monetized. We don't think about it, but there is a big market. Uh, and what BitClip does is essentially enables users to uh, get money for the data. Uh, you don't necessarily have to work for this data, you uh, just provide the data, you store it on blockchain, it's secure. Uh, if you decide to opt in into a system, you can get money for uh, for information that uh, uh, you provide to the system. On the other hand, for businesses, it's a very uh, interesting way to uh, improve their conversion rate. They can target users directly, they can build a relationship with a specific user, and that essentially is a, a main driving force uh, for any advertisement system. You don't want to advertise to everybody, you want to advertise to your audience. And so that's the main advantage for, for businesses. Can you give us some examples of how that will work? Uh, sure. So if you are looking for something online today, uh, you usually do it through Google. And uh, when you search for some items, uh, Google uh, puts some information in front of you and you decide if it's uh, something you like or you don't like. Uh, BitClay system works exactly in the same way. You search for goods or for services. So, for example, you're looking for a new car. Uh, the fact that you're buying a car is a very important fact. If, if dealership near, near you knows that you are looking for a car, he would love to present you with opportunity to come and buy their car. And essentially what they do today is they pay Google for that. In the future, they'll be paying directly to you. You're planning to oppress one of the largest world market, monopolized by giant corporations such as Google and Facebook. Do you expect any kind of opposition on their part? Yeah, that's a great question. Of course, uh, we are, as any disruptor, we are going against the uh, industry leaders, in this case, Google and Facebook. Uh, we do believe that the, the disruption is possible because of the new technologies. We believe that we are looking forward uh, five, ten years from now where decentralized economy will start being a reality. And, you know, Google and Facebook can uh, participate in this too. So our disruption is not coming to uh, really go after these companies. Our disruption is coming to change the market and we feel that uh, with this new idea of how advertisement will work, uh, both Google and Facebook potentially can join us. So, so we feel very comfortable with the idea. We, we, we know that this is a good direction for, for the industry, and so we're going full speed to build it. How do you plan to ensure integration of your platform with businesses? Uh, great question. So we are talking to a lot of different businesses already. We are creating partnership relationship with uh, different retail stores and uh, um, other industries. Um, the clear advantage for the business helps us to promote the solution. So 
as as we progress with the uh, uh, first version that will be coming soon and uh, as we progress with uh, getting on board more users and more businesses we we expect that it's going to be rolling out very fast another thing that i want to add is that we are building an open source uh, community and the, everything that we do is going to be open source so for us uh, we uh, expect people to join the community very fast so we see businesses spending time to integrate with our solution because uh, because of the clear advantages for them. The BitClave system has two major components, Anonymized Activity Ledger and Token Exchange. Please tell us more about their functions. Sure. So the Activity Ledger essentially is a, is a place where you store your data. You uh, communicate with the system in, in, in the ways that you, you register, then later on you uh, search for items and then you buy something. And these are your activities. They are stored, anonymized, and they are uh, secure, and uh, nobody can access them but you. Later on, you can enable use case where you can monetize this data. Again, it's going to be anonymized, so nobody will know your name or nobody will be able to uh, directly reach out to you if you don't want to. But when you search for items, uh, smart contracts that will be part of the system or part of the token will trigger this activity. So, for example, you're looking for a car, you provide your data, there is a dealership that has a smart contract written for them that says that they are looking for a person that seems like you. At this point, the smart contract will match you and the offer will be shown to you. And so that's the connection between the token and the activity ledger. You have gathered a professional team of 20 engineers and the advisory board. Can you tell us a few words about your team? Sure, it's a good question. We have an excellent team. So uh, I myself, I'm a former uh, Chief Security Officer of LG Electronics. I worked in the security industry for 20 years and uh, know a lot about privacy and security. Uh, one of my co-founders, uh, uh, Patrick Tuck, he is a professor of Carnegie Mellon University and uh, uh, Patrick and I worked together for multiple years on uh, projects that uh, my companies were uh, involved with him. Uh, we also have some other people in teams that uh, either are great developers or have an excellent um, academic background. Uh, I can also point out to the fact that we have one of the best advisory team in the Bali. We are uh, very lucky to have people from the uh, background of Yahoo, Microsoft uh, to Sony, uh, people from blockchain background and from advertising background. So we have very excellent team at this point. As you know, your pre-sale was quite successful and your main sale event is planned for September the 15th. What are your plans and expectations? Uh, great question. So we are, we indeed had a very successful pre-sale. It was completed in uh, more or less 48 hours. We reached our goals and uh, we really happy to have all these users uh, on board who would love to see our ecosystem working. Uh, our next uh, immediate step is to uh, to get some businesses on board and also to have an alpha version uh, in, uh, uh, in the store. Uh, we're going to be releasing it uh, early in September and uh, my hope is that people will start playing with the, uh, with the search, will get to know it's better and as they get confidence that uh, in a product it will help us to go to the next stage, which is in a crowdfunding event in September. Thank you, Alex. That was a wonderful conversation. What do you think about another interview with us after the BitClay's successful crowdfunding? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it was a pleasure talking to you, and uh, I'm looking forward to connect with you guys uh, later uh, after the crowdfunding again. Thank you very much, Alex, for the interview. Good luck to you and the BitClay project. We hope to see you soon.